I do in fact have an exam this Friday. Today's Monday. I'm gonna be filming this video instead of revising my test. So we should just get right into it. I've been in A-levels for four months. It's literally the last day of January. I've learnt a whole bucket load of life lessons and what A-levels are actually like. A year ago, I was so anxious about starting A-levels. Year 11 was not my year, but I was so uncertain about my future. I had no idea what I would be doing in year 12. I got good GCSEs and I managed to get in all my A-levels. The A-levels I'm doing are business, media, and religious studies. All of these are studies. I didn't really realize, I don't know what that says about me because it's media studies, business studies, and religious studies. So does that mean I'm like really into religion, business, and media? Because I just study everything to do with it? I'm not sure. I'm gonna be talking about six things that I learned in the first four months of A-levels. And I hope this helps you 11s, 10s, not anyone. But before we do get into the points, don't forget to subscribe. Just down there. Just do it. I post every Thursday. I'm trying really hard to do that. And my Instagram is at Amy Clementine, and that is absolutely amazing. I love my Instagram. So do that now before I get into the video. Before starting A levels, one of my big sort of anxieties about starting was that I honestly thought that A levels were just for the smartest, smartest people in the world. I honestly thought that I would walk in to my lessons at the start of year 12 and only the people who got all nines would be in there and I would feel so stupid compared to all of them and the difficulty would be so much harder. I honestly thought that I would get imposter syndrome because I would feel like I would be the, the least able to do that because more for my GCSEs, I got five, sixes and sevens and I honestly thought that A levels are just for people who get like seven, eight and nines and I didn't get all of those. So I felt like a very average student and I thought that A levels were just for the people who are who excel in life and just the people who just aren't me to be honest. But when I got into A levels, I realized that there are so many people out in my classes are just like the same as me who just got five, sixes and sevens. It just didn't occur to me that there'll be other people like me. I felt like I would, I was like the only person allowed to do bad in my classes, which isn't true. Literally, everyone's in the same boat. They haven't felt like I didn't deserve to be there because I feel like I got the grades to get into the A level, so it means that at least I have something wrestling around in there. So, link to this, I also thought that whatever we were doing, we would literally could do the most difficult things straight away and I was kind of scared that I would feel dumb like I wouldn't understand anything we're doing and that's just not true I got in there it's literally a very easy transition from GCSEs they know how to do it teachers know how to like ease you into it those beliefs I had in year 12 felt so real like I was so convinced that all this stuff would happen to me once I started year 12 and just remember that your thoughts aren't like truth makers they're just thoughts. The next thing I learned about sixth form, this is more separate from subjects, that it really feels like a step up to your maturity and like freedom. You have so much more freedom than secondary school. I like it so much better than I ever did secondary school. Secondary school was my flop era. I really felt every aspect of secondary school was not made for me. I did not like it. You can probably tell my videos, in my school videos, like I did not want to be there. So people in sixth form are like 16 to 18. So that's like pretty old. You can definitely feel the difference. Sixth form definitely feels like American high school movies. You feel much more like adult and people are acting much more adult. It's like high school, you know, like people are much more free to do what they want. My sixth one's bloody massive. So people come from all over London, even like some outside London-ish. It kind of all gets mushed together. So like there's a lot going on. It really feels like a TV drama sometimes. In secondary school, it was like, you really felt young. Like I never felt like I was in like skins in secondary school. It feels more like people can, you know, everyone's kind of a bit more doing great up things but yeah that's something I learned very quickly. <laughs> We're gonna go back to the academic side of sixth form for my next point and that is about the content in your A-levels. I'm not I can't speak about BTACs because I, I don't do any I've no experience. <laughs> the things you learn about are so much more interesting than anything you've learned in GCSE. GCSE seems like so bland like it feels like it's just a basic stuff you're required to learn before you turn 17. Like it really is just like just the basics of everything but A-level you get into so much detail about like things you don't know that you want to go into detail, detail about. It's weird but it's so much more interesting 
thing then Jesus I think that's to be honest this might sound so pompous but I honestly think that's a reason why I didn't like my subjects in GCSE but I really didn't feel like what I was learning was interesting or like stimulating enough for me in my brain because it was so like simple and I really had like nothing else to it because I felt like that it really didn't motivate me to want to revise it or do anything more to do with my subjects in GCSE there's no like third angle to GCSEs but in A levels it's like there are a third angle and a fifth angle like really feels like what you're learning about is actually true like Jesus is a true but like this stuff is like more the real world and I like that I really like that especially in my like, essay based subjects because they're very they're very theoretical you're learning theories about humans and about how people live and how people do business I was not expecting that I honestly was so unmotivated before I started my A-levels because like I'm not going to enjoy any of my subjects I don't know why I picked any of these subjects but it's so interesting the content for each A-level it doesn't really matter about the A-level itself I don't know where I'm going with this but it's just interesting this might be a bit more you know relatable but I, I honestly felt like the first like month of sixth form it felt like I was just watching a really interesting YouTube video but it's your a-level not a youtube video so yeah i would honestly say that a-levels are like watching a really interesting youtube video i'm not sure what doing a degree is like i don't know i'll have to experience that and then i can make another video on my degree but before i started sixth form i was very very like insecure in secondary school i would always see the sixth formers like you know walking about because they had like their badges on and i always saw them as looking so old and mature and like put together so when i was like like almost starting I was like a bit freaked out because I was like oh my god I don't feel like the people who I used to see in the corridors I don't look very old I feel like everyone who's gonna be in there in my year is gonna look a hundred times older than me and I'm just gonna be there and just be looked at as weird because I'd look younger than everyone as I said before all these people were in the same year as you in year 11 it just feels normal because you're still surrounded by people your age and you kind of look sort of like people your age it's not like everyone's an actor on euphoria like these people are actually your age they're not like 25 year olds playing 17 year olds like these are actually 17 year olds and what 17 year olds look like is something I also learned the first four months of eight levels the next thing I learned is that the amazing idea of doing less exams because you do less subjects I do not know how I did bloody GCSEs I was doing 25 exams last May and now I have like nine exams for my whole A-levels it's actually life-changing having less subjects and less exams like they really put you for in GCSE GCSEs sound horrible looking back now it's not like you have to think about a hundred different subjects to revise and hundred different exam types yeah, I had mocks before Christmas and I just had three exams over three days. This next point is kind of linked to the last one, but sorry about that. I had to delete some stuff off my SD card. It's maybe different in other six forms and stuff. I had no idea that you're basically su studying six subjects, not three. Because in each class, you have two teachers and each teacher teaches you a totally different aspect of the curriculum. I thought you just had one teacher per subject, but you have two. No one told me why does no one tell me that like that's something you should probably know like i asked my gcse teacher who i knew i'd be having in a lab he was talking about the other teacher we'll be having and i was like wait we don't just have you and he looked at me like i was like absolutely mad for asking that like no do you think i can like teach you a whole a level on my own i don't know i didn't know you have two teachers there's a bit more separation it's not like you're doing the same thing every day so those are the six things i learned in my first four months of a levels but i honestly just think that if you're doing starting a levels next year it sounds like a big thing and it is sort of a big thing but you can do it like it feels like a big thing to do a levels but now i'm in it like i don't think i'm doing any more work than i did for my gcse's you know what i honestly think that i really just haven't been treating my a levels like the a levels i never treated my gcse's like the gcse's that kind of scares me i feel like i should be like picking it up right now and like you know doing on the go revision or some like crap like that i don't know i'll figure it out and you'll be there because you'll be subscribed and watching my weekly videos ew oh also free periods are amazing my free period today i watch the new euphoria episode while making my lunch at home i had avocado and toast that's the end of this video i'll see you in the next one which you will watch because you're subscribed and don't forget to follow my instagram comment below what videos you want me to make i am lost do not know what to make. Comment below. Bye.